Less We Forget, written by Carrie Brown. So this is a story about a young boy and his grandfather growing up in their times. And it's also for us to remember the courageous men and women who fought in the world wars to give us the freedoms or privileges that we have today in society. Please remember the Anzacs, lest we forget. My granddad says there are two types of days, those you want to remember and those you want to forget. I remember my first day of school. I had a brand new uniform and mum polished my shoes until I could see my face in them. I was a little bit scared, but mum said I had to stand tall because I was her brave little soldier. So here is his grandfather standing in his uniform thinking that he needs to be a brave little soldier. Here he is saying goodbye to his parents, wife and unborn child. So many people that went off to war had to say goodbye to their family and friends. They did not know if they were ever going to see them again. I remember playing soccer on the weekends with my team. We trained really hard. Sometimes we won and sometimes we lost. Our coach said that we were like a family and it was important for us to look after each other on the field. So here is his grandfather looking after a mate on the battlefield. So obviously his mate's been injured and his grandfather is comforting him. So as a young man. I remember when my baby sister was born. Mum and Dad had a celebration. All of our friends arrived with presents and plates of food. Everyone sang and danced late into the night. So here is the grandfather as a young man looking at a photograph. I wonder what the photograph could be. It was his new child that has been born that he has never met because he's on the battlefield. I would like to forget the day Mum tried to make stuffed pork. She burnt the roast and the whole house filled up with smoke. We had to eat Vegemite sandwiches for dinner. So here's the boy's grandfather on the battlefield having basic food supplies. So water and biscuits. In this case it looks like an Anzac biscuit. I would like to forget the day Dad's truck got a flat tyre. I had to walk all the way to school. The sun was scorching hot and my bag was so heavy. So here's his grandfather with his backpack in the wall, helping his mate get back to safety. I would like to forget the day the vet rang to say our dog had died. Dad helped me make her a special goodbye bed in the backyard. Here's a telegram from the wall front. Here's the family members reading it. They're, they're, they could be sad or emotional for various reasons, that they've heard that they're alive or they've been injured or they've been killed. Sometimes when I visit Grandad, we talk about our days. By looking at the pictures, can you see what Grandad's doing for his days? Grandad's stories are always interesting and he thinks mine are funny. Grandad says that out of all the days of the year, there are two that are very important. He says that these are the days that make the country stand still and they are the days that make him sad. So April 25th is Anzac Day. I ask Grandad if these are the days he would like to forget. So Remembrance Day is always the 11th of November to remember the, the soldiers and people in the war. He looked at me and said, No, son, these are the days when we must stop and remember. Less we forget. So take a moment to think about the men and women who fought in the war 
to give us the privileges that we have today. Less we forget.